I had a mentor of mine a long time ago uh, teach me a concept called 10 assists, which some of you have heard. And 10 assists is you wake up every single morning and you can choose to either put 10 pennies in your left pocket, or if you'd like, you can wear 10 rubber bands on your left wrist, or if you're more of a fashionista, you can get some nice bracelets. But you'll have either 10 pennies in your pocket or 10 bracelets on your, on your wrist. And every time you give an assist to one of the two groups that I mentioned, someone that's on our team or someone that we serve, you take one penny out of your left pocket and you put it in your right pocket. Or you take one rubber band or bracelet off of your left and you put it on your right. And an assist is anything that you do that adds value to their life. Anything you do to make their job easier, to be a good teammate would be considered an assist. But here's the rub. You can't go home until you've given out 10 assists. You can't leave and go home and put your head on the pillow until you know for a fact that you've done at least 10 tangible things to add value and to deepen a connection with the two most important relationships professionally that we're talking about, those on our team and those that we serve. Now that needs to be something that we make go viral. I know when we talk about social media, everyone's worried about likes, everyone's worried about clicks and views. Let's not worry about that. If you wanna to continue to build an unbeatable team, which you guys are doing, let's make that contagious. Let's hold each other accountable to the fact we will always do a minimum of 10 things to deepen the connection in the two groups that matter most to us. I don't watch a ton of NASCAR, but I know enough to know that every single person on that pit crew has a very specific role and a very specific job. And they need to do that specific role and that specific job to the best of their ability. And if they don't, the whole thing can fall apart. If any one single person on a pit crew does not do what they are supposed to do, the whole thing can fall apart. And I want each of you to view your role in the exact same light. See, similar to a pit crew, I believe that a team is very much like a jigsaw puzzle. Every single piece matters. Every single piece matters. If there is one piece missing, you can't finish the picture. And each of you has to take that much pride in your role. You have to realize that what you do is vital, it's important, and it needs to be appreciated by everybody else. Your role is not always what you want it to be. Your role is what the team needs it to be for the team to be successful. Now in a perfect world, there'd be as much alignment as possible between what you love to do and what you're good at. That would be the ideal role for you to spend most of your time doing what you love and what you're good at. And that would be a perfect world. But as you all are well aware, we live in a practical world, so it's not always perfect. So you being able to say that even though this isn't my favorite thing in the world to do, I have other people that are counting on me to do this to the best of my ability. When you get folks to buy in to do that, that's when we create something special when it comes to roles. And each of you needs to think well above and beyond just knowing what your role is. You guys are a sharp group. I know you know what your role is. But where you have to actually ask yourself a question when you look in the mirror is, are you truly embracing that role with everything that you have? And do you do everything in your power to star in your role? I know there's big roles, there's small roles, there's all sorts of different boxes on the org chart. I get it. But all you have to worry about is guard your yard. In your yard, are you doing everything you can to add value to the North Star and the mission that you all are collectively trying to accomplish? In order for you all to truly get there and to get there as efficiently as possible, I need every single one of you to be able to look in the mirror and say, yes, that's what you do.